Hello everyone, welcome to the class of AI and today in, in our uh, tutorial we are going to see how to upload the files in a Google Colab and how to use them, how to load them using Pandas and other facilities. So in this we are having three ways, I'm going to show you three ways how to upload your file and work on the CSV file within the Colab. The first way is manually locating the file. So for that I'm going to use a function called file.upload from Google Colab. So if I click on it, you see it's asked me to choose the zip file, which is somewhere located on my disk. So if I choose that, open it and it's see it's uploaded now. So 50% done, 86% done, 100% done. And now if I refresh, I see that data over here. Now I have to unzip this data. So unzip the data because uh, I want to see what are the files available inside it. So this is the code and you see that uh, it's done, it's unzipped it, and you'll see a new file listing.csv is there. So if I want to read this listing.csv file, I have to read it through pandas. And I have just reading it and then printing the headers. And you see now it's there. I can see I can see all the information present in the data first five rows because I'm using the head function. The second function, second way of uh, reading the data, the, I'm going to use the same example. The second way of using the data, in loading the data, is mounting a Google Drive to your Colab, right? So first thing I have to do is I have to manually upload the data somewhere in, somewhere in, uh, uh, in my Google Drive. So I just said upload files. I have to check over here and see it's now uploaded, done. And now I have to mount my drive. So for mounting the drive, I have to click this code. And if I click on AI and allow it that I am accessing it. So I have to copy this code and bring it here and paste. Right. And press enter. So you will get the authorization from the Google that my drive is now mounted. Yeah, so mounted at content. Now the thing is that again I'm going to unzip the file but over here I have to locate the file which is content my drive my drive drive my drive which will by default it will take to your uh, Google Drive and again I am uploading means I'm uploading I'm unzipping the data basically so see the message is done and if I am going to again read it using the same function again I'm getting the same output so these are the two way first way is mounting so first way is basically manually locating the file, unzipping and printing. Second is store your data on Google Drive and just unzip it and print it. The third way is the best way which I like personally because uh, most of the people what they do, they create, uh, they put their data uh, somewhere in the Git because uh, sometimes your Google Drive is so full so you can't put your data inside your Google Drive. So what people do, they put somewhere in the Git and you can directly bring that data from the GitHub, right? So for example, uh, means uh, what I say, so for example, if you go to this uh, awesome data set link and we type it somewhere here, so you see that they have awesome data set publicly data set. And these guys having a data set uh, folder over here. So I'm going to import that. So basically what I have to do, I have to just put this exclamation mark along with the git clone command because this is a command line code means code which I have to type and if I just click it you see it's now bringing my data inside over here and if I refresh it you see awesome public data set is there the whole repository and in the data folder I got my data that's pretty good now for example another data set if I want to see I want to I'm showing you another example so I think this is one of the best way if you just type, if you find your data somewhere in the Git or you just create your own repository, put your data, give the link to that Git and just clone it. So for example, for the second thing I'm doing and see now I did it this and for that I got a country list because I just means uploaded, means I've down, just down cloned this country list and in the country list, let's see what is their data.csv, data package.json. So let's print the data.csv. And if I do see it's there. So this is, these are the three ways in which you can basically 
upload your uh, I mean, means you can upload your data to the Golab and you can work it can work with all images examples signals so whatever the data you have these are the three way which which you can upload it to your uh, Colab and you can work easily thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe my channel thank you so much have a lovely day bye bye